Hi, this is Matt Frazier with Panasonic. I'm here to talk about the GH4. Uh, we announced at NAB a firmware update to the camera that gave you the ability to capture an anamorphic a, a square image, a 4x3 aspect ratio image, optimized for 2x anamorphic optics. One of the challenges we run into is that finding anamorphic lenses that are affordable, that will work with the GH4, can sometimes be a challenge. Oftentimes you're having to rent very high-end lenses with PL adapters, or you're having to buy these projector lenses and attach them to a, uh, a capture lens, and then you end up with two focus points, and it makes doing focus pulls really challenging. So uh, we're actually here with SLR Magic, and they've developed a really beautiful lens that works great with our system. Um, Andrew's here with SLR Magic. Andrew, why don't you go ahead and tell them about your optic? Okay, so uh, what we have over here is, uh, in, in the back, we have uh, a prime lens. It's a 50, 0 0.95 prime lens. And when you, in front is a, a 2X anamorphic adapter. And, and, and this piece here is our new product, is uh, the range finder. So what it does is you could uh, find a range of uh, any lens behind it uh, and use it as a focus mechanism. And um, so what you could do is uh, you could shoot uh, anamorphic lenses uh, with just um, uh, doing regular focus pulls without dealing with uh, any of the troubles of, uh, of uh, 2x anamorphics in the past. So, so Andrew, what you're really saying here is that the range finder can be attached to any lens. It doesn't have to be anamorphic. Right. I can attach to anything. And now I have a proper cinema auto, a, a proper cinema focus pull that I can do with this. Right. Correct? So, so you could attach it to a focus by wire lens or like a, a, any other manual focus lenses, which focus in um, in, a, in a, the other non-cinema direction, and you can convert that to a cinema lens, pretty much. Yeah. But the byproduct of that is it works terrific with your anamorphic lens, giving us now a single focus pull when we have to stack all this glass, which makes this a much easier solution to use. Right, a lot of people have been telling us that we could make an anamorphic lens, like a real anamorphic lens and beyond the adapters. So we've uh, listened and we've uh, made our first uh, test prototype. It's a 70 millimeter uh, anamorphic lens uh, in 2X. We haven't quite decided on the aperture yet, but then, um, well, here we brought along our prototype. Uh, it's, a, it's a working prototype that we could uh, show, and uh, it's uh, in PL mount. And just like our uh, 50 Apple lens, we've uh, we have a titanium rear on it. And if you take the rear off, you could uh, use third-party adapters. There are adapters from. Uh, such as a uh, micro four thirds to uh, PL, there's a uh, e, e mount to PL, and there's also a uh, EF mount to PL. And all you need to do is um, uh, use these adapters and uh, just put it to that PL lens and lock it in. And for example, now this becomes an EF mount lens. So it's, uh, re it's really um, user friendly. You have a good variety of mounts to play with. and. Uh, We've applied it to both lenses. And this usually PL lenses are in Super 35 format, but then we've made our PL lens full frame format. So it would work on, um, on uh, EF cameras with a uh, full frame coverage. If you use uh, a full frame camera such as the 5D3, which is very popular amongst the indie filmmakers, and you have a PL lens, again, you just need to twist the rear off and uh, use a third party um, like PL to EF adapter and uh, put it on. Then uh, you could uh, mount an uh, anamorphic lens. You can mount an anamorphic lens onto uh, the full frame camera since our 70 millimeter uh, anamorphic lens has full frame coverage. And um, since the shoot's uh, 16 to 9, uh, it's going to look a little weird. So if you get a, a monitor such as uh, the Atomo Shogun, uh, with the latest firmware, they have uh, a mode that uh, can be squeezed for, um, for 2x, and, um, and the ratio would look more normal. And with this, uh, you could have a very affordable PO and EF for Micro Four Thirds or E-Mount anamorphic uh, for uh, indie filmmakers.